artsy, awkward on camera, it's fine. Look what I did with our Christmas wreath, our Christmas overhead. This was all Christmassy, and now it was happy birthday to me. Yep, anyway. Today is January 3rd, and I realized my last video was in October, and it was footage from July. And so I feel <laughs> like I need to recap everything that has gone on, just both for the sake of documentation, but also for uh, kind of to wrap up 2020 officially, even though really what's the difference between 2020 and 2021 when we're in this type of year like there please but um yeah so last video was in october it was from july footage when we initially got out here and so much yet so little has happened and i think that is just 2020 in a nutshell to some degree but I have my master's in the science of nursing, so I have an MS in in education, specifically nursing education, and that's exciting, so exciting. So much so that it hasn't quite set in. Um, today was the official date of my program ending as far as this course, and I finished about a week ago. So I did a two-year program in a year, and it's kind of it's just kind of crazy and so kind of to recap 2020 we had set off um based on our first vlog last year we had set off to live our life outside of boston for a bit with kevin uh, teaching and RISD affiliation and trying to put himself in the right spot more specifically for him professionally because we've traveled all across the united states primarily for me and while it's been a huge benefit and journey to travel, he's also forfeited a lot of opportunity um, that comes with being in the right area at the right time, especially with the art world. And so when COVID hit, uh, one of my last videos from that time frame of March was my denial, going through the whole denial of PPE and that hospital experience. We went home for three months and I had a lot of guilt for not being on the front lines at that time, but I was doing other things in the background with COVID response um, and building a company for that, that while I was working on my master's and doing that, three months went, like it was gone. Three months gone and a good friend of mine reached out and was like, hey, we need a little bit of help out here. Do you feel like coming back out to California? And I took it and so we came out here that was my July 1st. We shipped the car. We flew out to California with Fitz. Very first time flying first class. Um, and I flew with him during COVID. And it was that was an experience in itself. And since July, I have hit the ground running full capacity, working in cath lab, working to develop cath lab curriculum for a system-wide um, healthcare system. So this is cath lab. Um, it's a huge project as well as taking emergency call as well as finishing my master's and doing the practicum which was that in itself was 144 hours on top of the coursework on top of everything else i was doing and um our leadership left they gave two weeks notice which i'm just gonna be very frank about it but when you're a director or manager of a cath lab and you give two weeks notice that's to me a little, I mean, I gave, I think I gave six weeks notice when I was the assistant clinical director for the eye surgery center that I worked for. And so that was a little frustrating. It also, at this point in looking at where the cath lab is, the roles that I've taken on both as the, I mean, I'm a travel nurse still at this facility and I'm the clinical cath lab educator I'm scrubbing EP cases, so that's a whole new facet of learning and, and kind of pushing forward professionally. So while I feel incredibly lucky for this opportunity, it's, it's a lot. And it's a lot in a lot of the best ways. And I want to do it all, but parts of me are like, you can't do it all. So self-care, all that jazz. Um, for the past week, week and a half, I've kind of been just a big 
lump on a log. It's a lot and my upcoming, I've kind of taken this week off, but I've been working on the curriculum that I've built. So for example, there's 12 courses, they're four hours long a piece and I have to build them all from the ground up. So I, for example, January 7th, I'm teaching a four hour class for cath lab that is um, cardiovascular anatomy and physiology and cardiac disease. So it's specific to cath lab and a lot to do with, I mean, it's specific to cath lab. That's the best way to put it. It's a refresher on A&P, but it's, it's very much geared towards um, how we use the anatomy and physiology and structural um, heart within the cath lab and how it applies procedurally. Um, I mean, all the way into cardiac disease and 12 lead um, EKG recognition with a lot of case scenario based learning um, to engage. I mean, that's the best way for adult learning versus pedagogy, um, which is um, more the student learner. Anyway, that's my master's and master's in nursing education that's showing right there, right there. Um, but it's been it's been a lot and I think I'm just processing it. So it's kind of helping to talk this out and like bookend, like this was 2020 for me, especially since even though I'm uploading and documenting all of our journeys, the living whole life um, through YouTube, it's also, my plan is to the years that like 2019, all the videos from that year, I'm going to download and have a home DVD, home, um, home memory like this is what these are that I'm sharing with you guys so it's almost like a, a point of reflection that I'm kind of making this video to just to just close that door and be done and to to just say I have a master's in the science of nursing education I have a wealth of opportunities at my feet and it's a whole new chapter where I've gone from a very competent almost expert individual in my field professionally to kind of novice again and that's just a part of the learning cycle and learning theory but it's still it's uncomfortable and so I'm starting off 2021 a little uncomfortable but so appreciative and grateful and excited enthusiastic and slightly anxiety ridden at times but that's fine everything's fine but it's all good things all absolutely wonderful, good thing. The other thing that we're up to is we're about to buy an RV, a 35 foot RV. And that is going to be the next endeavor that we embark on. And that's, that's a huge chunk of money because we're, our plan is to buy a new RV, a 2021. We've looked at a lot of different layouts. We've walked through RVs. We've been talking about it for about six months now, maybe longer. I've always wanted, like, I've always been very intrigued by the tiny living and the, the mobile life. Obviously, I'm a travel nurse. This is, I, I love to travel. And so when you're married to an artist, that makes things a little bit more difficult with studio. And I've gone through all of that in my prior travel nursing how to's and our situation with traveling with Kevin and his studio. So we have plans. And the plan is to take you guys along with us and See where it goes so big things good things exciting things but yeah anyway here's to 2021 even though it's still I mean what's what's gonna change what changes in the new year anyway so this is my bookmark to wrap up 2020 and to move forward and introduce and say hi we're still alive and yes, I'll still be posting this channel and it'll be more frequently now that I've completed my master's, but that just took over my life. So I did a two year program in a year and now it's back to me being me again. And I gotta stop filming this, it's time. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next one. Please share, like, subscribe, all that jazz because it does help on YouTube with the algorithm because we're all dictated by the algorithm. But here's to a better year, I guess. Bye.